Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. With our analysts, Brent Barry and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson, along with reporter Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, Clay Thompson asked what he thinks about when he's shooting. He said, quote, nothing. You want to have a clear mind, a free consciousness, and just let it fly. When you go with the flow, you're in rhythm, and you're not really thinking about it, that's when it feels the best. Brian? Uh, it's a thing of beauty, Allie. Thank you. And we've got a pair of teams here that know a thing or two about ball movement, Grant. Yeah, they really do. I mean, there's a great feel that these teams play with. Two of the smartest teams in the league. They focus on sharing the basketball and keeping everyone involved. This is a matchup for the purists. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves. Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. Anthony Edwards out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Ananobi in at the three, the small forward. And for the Warriors, the core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with James Wiseman. Now here's Wiggins. Pass to Thompson. The three. Not going to go that time. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Edwards against Thompson. Ooh, Thompson with the block. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. That'll put some fear into the shooters. And he made sure to do it early, too. Curry against Van Vliet. Five on the clock. Green against Gobert. And the shot goes. Well, Draymond did a good job of getting some space there and rooting himself to collect. Curry against Van Vliet. Warriors with the rebound. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Thompson's shot is off. For Minnesota, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Van Vliet against Curry. It's Edwards on the wing. 4-3. Offensive rebound. Gobert. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. A huge sigh of relief. One for five now. Let's see if they can keep it going. Wiggins outside. Green in the post. Towns on him. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Knocks down the long chain. Totally reactionary. Not even thinking about it. Clay Thompson playing with some confidence. After a couple of injury plagued seasons, they missed the playoffs. The Warriors have returned to their winning ways. And just how impressive has that been? He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Now here's Thompson. He's been an important part of this offense, averaging around 22 points a game. Back to Wiggins. Puts up a three. The shot misses. Oh, a nice D from Ananobi. Right, and getting Klay Thompson back has been a major factor for their renewed success. Uh, there's no doubt how vital Klay is to this team, but you got to give credit to their overall depth. I don't think Klay was fully healthy last year at any point, so he's coming in stronger. This roster still feels like strength in numbers is in effect. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. 
And in trading for Rudy Gobert, the Timberwolves taking a twin towers approach with two seven footers in their front court. Of course, the outstanding shooting of Carl Anthony Towns means that spacing shouldn't be much of a concern. Green, the pass to Thompson. Ananobi against Wiggins. Tries it from the top of the key. Good D by Gobert. The Timberwolves have gone two of six to open up this game. Here's Van Vliet. Good work defensively by Wiseman. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And the basket by Curry. It just doesn't matter. Once Steph crosses half court, he's in range. Outside Edwards. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. And an Obi against Wiggins. Pass to Van Vliet. There's the three. Counted from distance. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Minnesota has gone one or two from three point land so far. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's on Stephen Curry, and it's hard to overstate the impact OG Ananobi has on defense, Grant. Hey, B.A., an absolute terror on the wings. I mean, he has great length, moves well, just one of the best one-on-one -on -one perimeter defenders in the league. First one falls. This is the time of the season when some teams start to transform for better or for worse, Brent. Yeah, we either see some clicking or we see some tricking, B.A. And you certainly don't want to be on the side of being tricked and to think your team is good and it's really struggling. So general managers are really starting to take notice of what might need to get done in order for your team to stay competitive. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Now here's Van Vliet. So versatile on offense, averaging around 23 and a half points per contest. Yep, that one's good. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. The Warriors have gone only three for nine from the floor. Van Vliet against Curry. And that's a foul OG. called on OG Ananobi. Personal foul. That's his first foul of the game. Team foul. and outside from deep nice gets his second bucket he's two for four now just so remarkable and consistent from distance is clay thompson and minnesota calls time here coming off a win against the hornets and when we take a look at the box score from that game one of the first things that you'll notice is the number of turnovers they were able to force well all those turnovers made it a scrappy game which suits them they caused a lot of chaos with their defense which played right into their hands State on D. They trail by one. Van Vliet, the pass to Edwards. 
Gobert on the high post. Four on the clock. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. And they'll get another chance. Tries yet again. Oh, three chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. 11 feet out, and the shot's good by Wiggins. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Another miss by Minnesota. Golden State has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Pass to Wiseman. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. And Wiseman showing off his power that time. Here's Edwards. Now Ananobi to stop the run. Buries it from three. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And yeah, a coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Thompson in his last outing with 12 points. Pass to Wiggins. Thompson outside. And here's Wiggins. Takes a three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Wiggins has got five points. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Drains the triple. Five points in the game. The D is there, but not present enough. You can't just be there. You got to disrupt and get in the face of the shooter. Curry against Van Vliet. Green up top. He's averaging about six points per game. Inside. Here's Wiggins. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. And the Timberwolves call time here. And watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. here. Bulls checked in and the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Reeds checked in for Rudy Gobert. Anderson comes in for Towns. Noel, he's checked in for Ananobi. And it's McLaughlin in for Fred Van Vliet. Now here's Edwards. Really played well against Charlotte in his last game. Pass to Wiggins. Anderson over to help. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Timberwolves with possession here. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to McLaughlin. Back to Noel. Clock at six. Here's the three. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Wiggins outside. Pass to Green. 
Thompson outside. From deep three-point range, an absolute bomb from three-point range. Thompson's got his third bucket of the night. He, even with the hand up, it's not bothering Clay Thompson. Just measured that one off. It's stolen by Green. Rob. Pass to Noel. Here's McLaughlin. Looking for his first basket still in this one. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. With the teardrop. And it's finished off by Poole as he lays it in. And the Warriors lead by seven. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. To the wing on the left. Back to Edwards. Five to shoot. Shoots over Wiggins. Knocks down the step back Edwards. Jay. Edwards has got seven. He's just two for seven from the field. Trying to work his way into a rhythm. Pass to Wiseman. Back to Poole. From the high post. And there's another one for the Warriors. Yeah, I don't think that's at the top of the menu of shots that Jordan Poole likes to take, but he can knock it down with touch. Here's McLaughlin outside Anderson. And he banks in the layup. Good execution. They're getting some short range looks here. The Warriors leading. Timeout, Golden timeout. State calls timeout. Time to get wild and make some noise for your Warriors. here for the Warriors. Green's checked in for Wiseman. Kaminga comes in for Green. And it's DiVincenzo in for Andrew Wiggins. A minute 35 left in the first quarter of the game. Kaminga finds Poole. Back to Kaminga. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Poole showing is more comfortable in that pick and roll setting. It can be dangerous. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Golden State Warriors are back. And it's good. Two points. And now it's a nine-point Warrior lead. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Here's McLaughlin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And here's Edwards outside. Sends it home from three-point land. Three this is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Outside, DiVincenzo. Back to Poole. Edwards against Thompson. Beyond the arc. And the Warriors with another three. And <laughs> they've got the deep reeling. A full three-point attack right off the tip. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Noel. Outside, Anderson. Just five to shoot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. 
Tough to match up with Kyle Anderson because of how quirky he plays. Changing speeds, plays slow, but sees the floor remarkably well. That one misses. Second free throw, no good. Pass to DiVincenzo. There's the triple, and the Warriors with another three! Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. And so it's the Golden State Warriors going into the break up 12. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. And don't go far. We'll be right back. It's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Yeah, I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do. Because right now, they feel like the faster team. They've got Jonathan Kaminga. Stephen Curry is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Jermichael Green, and it's Thompson in at the three. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. Anthony Edwards. Golden State has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. It's Edwards on the wing. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got three assists tonight. And they're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. Thompson against Ananobi. Pass to Green. Over Gobert. And it's Green missing. He had a teammate wide open for a better shot. I don't know why he still attempted that with the D right in his face. Van Vliet with it. Now here's Ananobi. And another three from Minnesota. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Outside, DiVincenzo. Curry against Van Vliet. Outside, DiVincenzo. Good. The dry spell continues. Edwards for three. He can't hit that time. So Golden State will take it the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Following this one, they host the Trailblazers. And they'll be right in the middle of a five-game homestand. DiVincenzo to pass to Green. Just five on the clock. Here's Kuminga. And again, no good by Golden State. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Think about Jonathan Kaminga and how versatile this guy is, capable of playing a lot of positions, and they're exploring that. The three from Curry. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Edwards, a pass to Van Vliet. Pass to Towns. Here's Edwards. Jump shot is good. Edwards. Edwards has got 18 points in the game. And a big thing that makes Kaminga so valuable is his impressive length. Well, he has the length, B.A., and the strength to go with that. But it's also the lateral movement. So threes, fours, and fives. This kid can absorb all that contact. And it's just such a unique skill set. Timeout called, the Warriors. 
They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Andrew Wiggins in for Thompson. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Outside, DiVincenzo. Back to Curry. Oh, they need this! Connects from downtown. Curry's got his second bucket of the night. That's a go-to shot for Stephen Curry, ready to shoot as soon as that ball touched his fingertips. Green against Gobert. Pass to Towns. The kick out to Edwards. Shot clock at five. Outside Ananobi. From deep. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. Golden State is going one of two from deep in the second quarter. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. DiVincenzo being a connector out there now. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Ananobi. Pass to Edwards. Stolen by Wiggins. Outside Kaminga. On the wing, Curry. The three is up. Another three for Golden State. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And an Obi finds Van Vliet. Gobert with it. Green covering. And that's a foul. Called on Stephen Curry. That's foul number two for him. Wiseman, he's checked in for Kaminga. Coming out to the floor for your Warriors, James Wiseman. Warriors on D. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Pass to Edwards. Shot clock at six. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Edwards got 11 here in the quarter alone. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, Draymond Green suffered through the losing years with the dubs. He said, quote, I just couldn't get myself going. Coach Kerr pulled me aside and said, quote, you have to be the worst player in meaningless games I have ever seen. But I found a love again, and I'm just enjoying playing basketball. Brian? Hey, it shows, Allie. Thank you. Three shots. Three shots. That free throw misses. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score. Whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. And he sinks the second. I mean, so much glue in this guy as Draymond focuses on making all the winning plays that he possibly can.
and he nails the third. Minnesota has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. It's stolen by Curry. Here's Green, and stolen by Edwards. Ananobi against Wiggins. Oh, Green with a block. And Green plays with tremendous edge on the defensive end of the floor. Four on the clock. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. And another three from Minnesota. If you want to disrupt his rhythm, you have to close out harder than that. Wiggins outside. Curry against Van Vliet. And the basket and by Curry. Minnesota calls timeout. From Andrew Wiggins. Timeout, Timberwolves. And get ready to move. And welcome out your Warriors 16. Minnesota. They've gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. And an Obi for three. Another miss by Minnesota. Golden State has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by DiVincenzo. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves trail. Van Vliet outside. Shoots. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Offensive rebound. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And there should be tons of trips to the free throw line for Wiseman. So tough to stop inside. James Wiseman. Two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. Still a ton of intrigue around what it is that James Wiseman is going to be in the NBA. It's really about him staying healthy and getting a consistent opportunity to be solid. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Wiggins. Back to DiVincenzo. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Here's Noel. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. Here's Towns. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And Towns' three-pointer is the lead. But some don't think center should float around beyond the arc. What's the balance there, you think, Grant? Well, I mean, first of all, it just shows how the game has evolved with big guys shooting like him. The bottom line, just play with aggression and don't settle. That triple is a weapon. You also got to use your size and skill inside just as often. The 
the Warriors have gone four of ten from the field in the second. Pass to Poole. Now Wiggins. Poole, the pass to Curry. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range, Golden State with a rebound. Here's Wiseman. The kick out to Poole. The three sinks it from distance. Poole's got seven. And Poole is such a tough and dynamic three-point shooter. He's comfortable firing from anywhere. Back to Van Vliet. Wiggins against Anderson. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiseman's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Pass to Poole. Wiggins outside. Another three for Golden State. Wiggins is shooting it with confidence. Man, he's a threat to put up some big numbers. Here's Noel. And here's Anderson. Reed with it. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Fires from deep. That's good from Curry. On the assist by Wiggins. And the Warriors lead by 11. Outside, Anderson. Van Vliet, the pass to Towns. <laughs> And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Draymond Green. And it is so tough to disrupt Towns' shot. I mean, when he shoots, he's so disciplined and locked in. Oh, so impressive. And he makes a first. And another inductee into the 2022 Hall of Fame, All-Star Tim Hardaway. Brent, you were a teammate of his for a little while. Any recollections? B.A., if I go back to Tim Hardaway, I don't think about my time in Miami, which was a cup of coffee for me. I, I go back to my college days, and I had the chance to go home to the Bay Area and be in Oakland in the summertime. And Chris Mullen, Mitch Richmond, and one Tim Hardaway Hall of Famer invited me into that gym to work out in the summer so you talk about a genuine thrill to be on the summer floor with run TMC what a treat pass to Thompson jacks up a three that shot no good now Minnesota takes it the other way it'll be their second game of a four game road trip here's Noel count that bucket Noel's got five points now this quarter and once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Pool outside. Up top, Curry. Coming off a 34-point game against Houston. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Noel, no good. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. And James Wiseman gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Pass to Reed. Fires for three. The Warriors pull it in. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. They lost to the Rockets. When your whole team is shooting in the low 30s, you know you're in trouble. Yeah, you check the stat sheet, and you can dominate just about every other facet of the game, but it's not going to make up for anything if you shoot the ball at such a low percentage. At the line for the Warriors, Jordan Poole. 
Take a break. Taking Take a break. Two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Jordan Poole has stepped onto the NBA stage and not ever backed down from a challenge. He plays with tremendous confidence. And both free throws good for Poole. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. On the wing, Noel, guarded by Poole. Back to Noel for three. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Noel's got eight points here in the quarter. This is who Towns is, an unselfish, versatile big man with great court awareness. Green in the post. Reed defending. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At the line for the Warriors, John Michael Green. At the line for two. Shooting two. And he drops the first. And the Warriors making a change here. Kuminga's checked in. He does not get the second one. Well, the Timberwolves shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Noel, off target with the three. Well, the Warriors shooting just around 47% in the second quarter. Pass to Wiggins. The three ball gets the three ball to go. Wiggins got 13 now. Right now, helping the offense out by creating space. Andrew Wiggins deadly enough from that spot. And we've got 28 seconds left in the first half. Just five to shoot. Here's Anderson. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Anderson's gotten his second bucket of the game. Well, more and more development on the offensive end, and now in a new system. Anderson capable in the mid-range, and I'd like to see him knock those down. The kick out to Poole. Releases from the wing and drills it. Poole's got seven points for the quarter. And pool shot sometimes, man. That thing just looks so pure. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in a good situation. Up by 13 points to close the quarter. Up big because of their three-point shooting. Just going to town from downtown tonight. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Well, Carl, they're scoring pretty easily. What has to change in the second half? Our whole defensive system right now, because it's just not working. It's not the coach's successful players. I'm letting them get too much fast break. Uh, they're doing a great job, and uh, they're hitting some shots, so we got to be able to make them miss. Best of luck locking it in, guys. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Fans, give it up for your work. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Setting the floor for the Timberwolves. Townsend Gobert, the towering big man at the four and the five. Anthony Edwards out there with Fred Van Vliet, and it's Ananobi in at the small forward position. Here's Towns. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. 
it. And yeah, this is what you like to see from Towns, using his size and strength to make things happen. Shooting from Minnesota, Carl Anthony Towns. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for Towns. The Warriors shooting great. 62% from the field and continuing to get it done. Outside for Green. Outside Curry. Cool outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Ooh, he's locked in. Drains his fifth shot in his many attempts. Cool extending himself and finishing over the defense inside. Van Vliet, the pass to Edwards. Now here's Ananobi. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Here's Curry. He's got it. Six of ten now. I'd like to see it when Steph has the confidence to try the floater just over the top of the defense and that soft touch, and it goes. Pass to Edwards. Launches it. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Well, one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards, he does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it, and he believes he can. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Clay Thompson picks one up. And you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards. But, Grant, is he willing to do the work? Well, B.A., think about this. He's a quick study. He listens to his coaches with curiosity. And he's driven to achieve the goals they set break. for him. Yeah, Two I shot. think he can. That free throw, no good. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Poole. off as well so he misses both the Warriors have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter pass to Curry to the paint here's Thompson rebound by Van Vliet well he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one guys and just flat out blew it the shot comes out Green with the defensive effort. And for the Warriors, they're shooting 61% for the game. Knocking them down. No coverage that time. Curry's got 19 points. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Pass to Gobert. And it'll be on the wing. And he converts OG, the layup. And an has got nine. Soft Rudy, interior D, and they've exploited it. The Warriors have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. And here's Curry for three. Another three for Golden State. It's just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. I don't like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. And Minnesota calls time here. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. Not sure what the defense is thinking, or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense.
A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Gobert finds Ananobi, and here's Van Vliet. Shoots over Curry. The rebound by Klay Thompson. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, Brett, not many players love the grind of the game like Stephen Curry. Well, when you get to a point, B.A., where you're practicing and you only count the makes if it's a swish and you count it as a miss when you hit the rim, attention to detail like that gives you all-time greats like Steph Curry. The first free throw is good. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016 taking home another MVP award going back to back. And he makes both free throws. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. Curry against Van Vliet. Pass to Wiseman. Here's Wiggins. Five to shoot. From the wing, they get the rebound. Out to Thompson. Knocks it down from distance. Thompson's got 20 points. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. And stolen by Green. Down low. And the slam dunk by Thompson. And the defense better find a way to get to Clay Thompson and locate him early. Outside Ananobi. Gobert passes to Edwards. Ananobi with it from outside the arc. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And stolen by Edwards. Shoots over Thompson from 13 feet. Down it goes. 23 points in the game. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Clock at six. Wiseman against Gobert. It's blocked by Gobert. A rangy defender with great defensive timing. I mean, why do you think they call Gobert the stifle tower? And when he, he's this close, he's got to make it. The defense was pretty good, but just shouldn't miss that. Pass to Wiseman. The kick out to Wiggins. Van Vliet against Curry. Takes the three. And Ananobi pulls it down. Minnesota's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Now Edwards. To the inside. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. And this is why Gobert shoots a high percentage. Because he looks to finish with strength inside. Curry passes to Thompson. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Anthony Edwards. And we think back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter in league history. Oh, B.A. 37 points from him in one quarter, setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from deep, taking only four dribbles the entire time. Only Clay Thompson, guys. The first one falls. And 941 days away from being on the floor. Uh, that had to be so difficult for Clay Thompson. You think about his contributions last year in the finals run, and I don't think he was ever fully healthy, but it's so great for the Warriors and their trio to have Clay back on the court.
Anderson's checked in for Minnesota. Noel comes in for Edwards. And that's good as he hits both shots. And during his return from a torn ACL and a torn Achilles, Clay was his own harshest critic. Well, really tough to be away that long, B.A., and the emotions, the thoughts that go through your head about regaining your form, being an elite player once again, and that doesn't just come from you. you got to have a great team around you, and that goes for the physicians, the teammates, the coaching staff, and the front office to get Clay back to where he was in the finals last year. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Green. There's the three. And Ananobi pulls it down. Ananobi's got four rebounds now. Fades back. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. Uh, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Curry with it. Three-pointer. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Back to Noel. Outside Ananobi. Let's the three fly. Hits the trifecta. Ananobi's got 14 points. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. A three, DiVincenzo. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Dom Thompson's got three assists now in this one. Outside Ananobi. Over Thompson. Hits the jump hook. OG, Ananobi. Ananobi's got nine points now in the second half. The Warriors have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Here's Noel. DiVincenzo covering. Back to Noel. Ananobi passes to Gobert. Pass to Noel. There's the triple. He got a piece of it. Here's the break. And here's Thompson for three. Another three for Golden State. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Poole, he's checked in for Stephen Curry. Reed's checked in for Minnesota. McLaughlin comes in for Van Vliet. Now Poole. 13 points in the game. Just five on the clock. Poole pops the J after a cagey pass. 15 points in the game. And Poole able to just slip right into his shot. To the middle. Left side, Anderson. No good that time. Excellent D there from Kuminga. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Ananobi against Thompson. Back to DiVincenzo. Here's the three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Dante. Thompson's got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to Noel. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Reed against Green. Back to Noel. Now here's Reed. And an Obi for three. And he drains it, making him seven for 15 for the day. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. Back to Poole. Releases. Reed with the rebound. 
Minnesota's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Here's Noel. Give him eight. Pass to McLaughlin. Fires from deep. On target from range. McLaughlin. McLaughlin's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Thompson finds DiVincenzo. Here's Poole. Now Kaminga. Thompson outside. Back to Kaminga. And here's Poole. And again, it's Golden State. Highlight reel stuff there from Jordan Poole. On the wing, Noel. DiVincenzo with the steal. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Poole, shot is off. Minnesota's gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Ananobi. Over Poole. Ananobi can't get it to go. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. The Warriors on top, running away with this one. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. All right, great pace, great energy. Keep throwing the ball ahead. You guys are just making the simple pass. That's good stuff. Urging his team to keep pushing the break. Coach Steve Kerr. And Coach Kerr loves the energy right now. He's all about having the pace in his favor. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. We've got Dante DiVincenzo. Michael Green out there with Moody. Then there's Faku Campazzo, and it's Carey in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the Warriors five. Here's Forbes. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Well, Grant, this is the business you and I are in. NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we going to see things change with the next deal, you think? Oh, B.A., this is interesting as this continues to evolve. Take a I break. think Take as a break. people's viewing habits have changed in the last 10 to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. Good on both. Here is DiVincenzo. Pass to Green. Here's Moody. Here's Campazzo. Outside for Green. This one for three. The shot, no good. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Here's McLaughlin. That one goes. Count it. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Back to DiVincenzo. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. DiVincenzo has to be agile on the interior and that time finds a way to get it done. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Here's Reed. Rebounded by Green. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Campazzo. Pass to Green. 
Well, Grant, in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters, and you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. Pass to Moore from deep. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Here's Green. Minnesota with a rebound. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Here's Forbes. Pass to McLaughlin. Five on the clock. Shoots from 12. And he can't get that one. Green with the defensive effort. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Back to DiVincenzo. Here's Campazzo. Pass to Moody. From behind the arc. Another three for Golden State. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Here's McLaughlin. Let's it go from 11. That one no good. The Warriors have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Right side, DiVincenzo. Pass to Green. Here's Campazzo. Back to Green. Here's Campazzo. From deep. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. First team foul. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away, but at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four <laughs> or five years there, too. Uh, superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course. <laughs> and, man, looking good from the line so far this half. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. For Minnesota, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Here's more. Over to the wing. Here's Reed. Kept alive by Minnesota. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to the go and the collect that rebound in the possession. At the line for one. One shot. And for players, greatness can be defined so many ways, but giving back has to be a component of that, wouldn't you say, Grant? Well, to whom much is given, much is expected. In BA, I agree 100%. Players today understand the impact that they can have on others. I love that about the league, the players, the coaches, everyone involved, using this gift to make a change and a positive impact throughout the world. To the inside. Here's Gill. Reed defending. Six on the shot clock. Moody from outside. 
He can't get it to go. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Here's more. Pass to Forbes. Here's Garza. Here's Rivers. They grab their own miss. Reed, good. Nas Reed. Hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Moody. Here's Campazzo. Fires the three. He buries it from three. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Here's Rivers. And a foul Rivers called foul. on the way up. And so he'll take deal. two from the free throw First line. Personal foul. And the NBA foul. trying some new things. One of them is the Elam ending, playing to a target score. So far, it's used in the All-Star game. Maybe more? Well, there's been talk, PA, about using it in the midseason tournament, if that ever becomes a thing in the NBA, and I think we're on the road to seeing that come to fruition. I actually would love it outside of the midseason tournament Shooting and two. do it for some regular season games because that's another swath of games that become more entertaining and more interesting because you're introducing the target score ending. No good on the free throw. Well, he does not lack for confidence, does Austin Rivers. He plays with a huge chip on his shoulder. Towns, he's checked in for Reed. He hits the second from the line. Golden State has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Here's Campazzo. Pass to Carey. Pulls up at the elbow. Good on the jump shot. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Forbes. Now here's Towns. Here's Rivers. Drills it from deep. Well, the deep ball accuracy is much more consistent now from Austin Rivers, learning how to be an effective shooter at this level. Back to DiVincenzo. Pass to Moody. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. Moore, shot is off. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Dante DiVincenzo. At the line for two. 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 He misses the free throw. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league, wanting to prove that he belongs, He's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. Good on the second one. Here's Rivers. Pass to Moore. Here's Towns. The ball's knocked loose. Out to the right wing. Moody from outside. Counted from distance. Moody's got six points in the quarter. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Back to Forbes. 
again, there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. Unloads from 13. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Here's Campazzo. Here's Carey. And the powerful one-handed slam. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Here's Garza. That shot missing. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Pass to Moody. Now here's DiVincenzo. Here's Moody. Back to DiVincenzo. Five to shoot. Shoots a fadeaway. And Campazzo missing. Minnesota has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Forbes. Here's more. And the game is growing by leaps and bounds globally. How does the league continue to ride that way? Well, I'll tell you, B.A., it's not hurting that you have an MVP that comes from Europe. I mean, Nikola Jokic bringing a lot of tension back to the league with his dominant play over here. But Commissioner Silver continues to explore all the corners in which he can continue to introduce the game, introduce the entertainment, and introduce the community aspect of what being a partner with the NBA is all about. Golden State has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Here's Campazzo. One forty-one left in the fourth quarter. Moody from outside. And the Warriors with another three. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Here's more. He's watched by Kaminga. Here's Forbes. It's good from about 19 feet. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Warriors. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And in the big picture, this marks their 43rd win of the year. And they've now won themselves a 2-1 to advantage in this season series. We'll see if it's the same story when these two meet one last time. And no question this was a team effort. But you have to love how big a night this was for Clay Thompson. Yeah, it felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on one every one possession, and he made his Three presence pointer. felt in so many ways. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Outside Kaminga. Here's Campazzo. Misses the jumper from the wing. Here's Rivers. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. They were just dominant out there. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. All right, Allie, thank you.
Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. So long and good night, everyone.